Good day everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to play the card game Lowdown uh, from Mattel and it is from the makers of Uno as it says on the box and this game came out in 2016. Now this game plays a lot like golf if you've ever played that game and uh, I'll just go ahead and just kind of go over the cards and the setup and everything. First thing you're going to do is you're going to deal out nine cards to everybody and you're going to go ahead and set them up in a three by three grid like this and then everybody's going to select two cards to turn over face up. So let's just say I do this card and I decide to do this card and my opponent has gone ahead and done that. Now the cards are numbered zero through ten and uh, they have six different colored backs here as you can see. Now the object of this game is you want to try to have the lowest point value by the time all of these cards are turned up. Uh, once all the cards are turned face up on someone's side, that's going to end the round and then everyone is going to go ahead and count up their points. And the points are just simply going to be the numbers on the card. So this is how the game works. On your turn you're going to have two choices. You're going to draw a card from here or you can go ahead and draw the card from here. What you're trying to do is you're trying to get the lowest point value cards in your grid but you also are going to be trying to clear out different rows and the way you can do that is by having three of the same color on a row horizontally vertically or diagonally so if i happen to have three purples over here i'll be able to clear all of these cards out and that would leave me with say six cards so that would make my point value lower since i'll have less cards however you have to be careful uh, let's just say for example you've got three colors in a row diagonally well now you're not going to be able to clear out rows anymore because there are three cards that are not together so you just kind of have to be aware of that and there's also some specialty cards uh, this card is a peak card and this will allow you to peek under any card that is on the table so you could peek under your opponent's card or peek under your card um, you have a negative five wild card. Uh, this card is worth negative five points and it's also wild. Uh, so you can choose whichever color uh, that you would like to. This card is a swap card. and This will allow you to exchange two cards uh, on different parts of the grid. So if you wanted to put the five here and the two here, you could very well do that. And then this card is a steel card. Um, if you decide to activate the steel, then you will be able to uh, exchange a card from your grid from a card from your opponent's grid and it can either be a face up card or a face down card um, but what's going to happen is those cards are going to be remaining face up uh, after this card is played now you can also play this card on the grid because of the color and the point value so it's your choice however you want to do it and the same goes for the peak card and for the swap card now another thing is uh, if you want to do this as an action the only time you're going to be able to use it as an action card is if you draw this card from the draw pile. Uh, you're not going to be able to use it if it's in the discard pile or if it ends up getting flipped up on the grid. So that's the only time you're going to be able to use the card as an action. So let's just say I decide I'm going to go ahead and draw and I've drawn a one. Now I can either uh, replace a card on the grid with this card or I can go ahead and discard it. Now since this is a low number, I'm going to go ahead and play the card somewhere. So let's just say I decide I'm going to play it here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this card and put it in the discard pile and then it will go to my opponent. Now I also could have peeked under a card if I wanted to, uh, but I decided not to since I prefer the point value. So now it goes to my opponent. So now opponent's going to go ahead and look and he decides, well that's a high value card, I don't want to do it. So he's going to go ahead and draw a card and he has drawn a negative five wild card. So what my opponent decides to do is he's going to go ahead and play this card like so and he's going to go ahead and clear out the row since he now has made uh, three in a row of colors and this will go into the bottom of the pile. So let's just say I decide to go ahead and draw and I've drawn a swap. Uh, so what I'm going to go ahead and do with this, uh, I can go ahead and swap two cards if I want to, but I don't think I'm going to go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and play this card. Now what you can do is you can play this card either face up or face down in the grid. And the reason you might want to play the card face down is so your opponent won't know what you're trying to do. Because if you say have two brown cards like this, then your opponent's going to try to avoid putting a brown card in the discard pile because you will be able to go ahead and pick it up. So what you might want to do is you might want to do something like like this um, just put the card face down like that there'll be a brown there and a brown there and then you would go ahead and discard this card now if you draw a card from the discard pile um, and decide to use it it's going to remain face up if you end up drawing a card from the draw pile you can either make it face up or face down if it turned out I ended up drawing a card and I decided I was just simply going to discard it and not replace it on the grid, this will allow me to peek under one of my cards. Uh, and I can either, after I peek it, 
peak like this, I can either uh, leave it face down or flip it face up. Now, a reason I might want to do that is let's just say, like you saw, that I had um, this two plate face down. Let's just say I happen to draw a zero here and I decided to trade it out with this card or something like that and this card showed up. Well on my next turn I could very easily just simply uh, pick up this card and say I don't want to play it, discard it, and since I will be allowed to peek and flip it over if I want I can do that and therefore I will have cleared out a row like so. Okay, so let's say I pick this up, and this is the exchange card. Uh, now, I could play this as a value if I want to, but let's just say I decide not to, and I decide to go ahead and discard it. Now, this is going to allow me to uh, swap out one of my cards for one of my opponent's cards, and it can be any one of them. Uh, so let's say I've got this 9. This 9 is kind of a high-value card, and I want it. So let's just say I decide I'm going to go ahead and pick this card up. Well, I got an 8. That's not much better, but it's better than the 9. Uh, but I could have picked the 5 if I wanted to and hope to get a better value. But anyway, that's kind of how that uh, the exchange works. Let's say I pick this up and this is the peak card, worth nothing. Uh, let's just say I decide I want to go ahead and peek at uh, another person's card. So I would just discard it and then I would just simply peek like this. Then it would go back face down. Now, nobody else is going to be able to see it, quite obviously. Now, let's say I drew this card, and this is the swap card. Uh, so let's say I decide I'm going to go ahead and discard it and then swap out two cards here on my grid. So what I could do is I could do this, and uh, this is a wild card. So this will go ahead and allow me to uh, clear out this row of cards, like so. Let's say I end up drawing this card, the negative 5, and I decide to go ahead and exchange it for this. And now all of my cards have been turned up so that's going to signal the end of the round so now everybody else is going to go ahead and uh, flip over all of their cards and then we're going to go ahead and start totaling and if anybody happens to get a um, a row of three cards of the same color while i do this um, then th they're going to be able to clear it out so then you'll just simply add up the points right now i've got five points this person has 23 points so then what you'll do is you'll go ahead and gather up all the cards shuffle them and then deal them out all again uh, now the game will go until somebody reaches 50 points and after that uh, the game will end and then everyone will go ahead and total up their, their points that they've uh, received over the course of all the rounds and whoever has the lowest amount of points is going to win the game and that ladies and gentlemen is lowdown